The District of Columbia and Colorado have such special places in my heart and in my life, as well as with Ascend's work. One of the most important things that uh, anyone who wants to help families can do is to engage with families, build trust, listen, and co-create together recommendations, ideas that can then help those in a family to be able to pursue their goals, whether it's the children to get an education or the parents or caregivers to work and to provide for their children. Ascend is all about co-creation. There's nothing Ascend does on behalf of families. It doesn't involve families as sense makers, experience providers, strategists and leaders in the development of new approaches. We created the network because we believed in the power of the levers of change and working with those types of organizations across sectors that believed in the power of a two-generation approach and the values of racial, gender, and economic equity. And that if we put families at the center, whether it's county or state human services, higher ed, early childhood, that we could be more powerful and have better results and better whole family results that could last across generations. The Ascend program, the Aspen Institute, love working with the state of Colorado and the District of Columbia, our two home bases. Uh, Mayor Bowser, Governor Polis, and the teams they've assembled have really taken a whole family approach to all the different areas of policy that they're responsible for. For me, when I think about the District of Columbia, that jurisdiction, our nation's capital, people too often forget that it's not just this national stage, it's also comprised of amazingly vibrant, diverse neighborhoods, families, networks. We are very uh, proud of the investments we make in families and making D.C. a family-friendly city. Um, so whether it's in our schools or recreation centers or how we decide to invest in out-of-school time, um, we're always thinking about uh, our young people and their families. Uh, we have um, one of the premier pre-K programs in the country. Uh, Universal Pre-K 3 has been in existence in DC for almost 10 years. Uh, and getting uh, kids in our buildings and their families in our buildings around caring and trusted adults not only exposes them academically, but uh, also exposes exposes them uh, to the health centers in our schools uh, and other resources that connect families uh, to our city. And we've over eight years really focused on our benefits programs, um, whether uh, they were pilots for new moms um, to get cash benefits in the first year of their child's life, um, or our career map program, which we think is a truly innovative human services program in DC. Uh, and it's designed uh, to help people have the cash that they need while they're getting the training that they need um, to get a great job uh, that's gonna allow them to afford to raise their families in DC without the penalties of losing the very valuable benefits of childcare or housing. Uh, so we're, we're thinking about how that, that mom who's getting help um, is then putting uh, her child on the right track. Community of Hope supports thousands of families every year in this two-gen work. One example of a mother in particular that comes to mind is a woman named Shanice, who on the day that she found out she was pregnant with twins was the day that she was evicted from her home with her other two children. So she came to Community of Hope's short-term family housing program. We were able to help her find a stabilizer housing. We provided emotional wellness counseling for herself um, and also worked with her around the perinatal care coordination to make sure she was getting the health care that she needed. So we helped her just in time uh, to move into her own housing, just in time for her to give birth to two beautiful twin daughters. So I think it's a wonderful example of all the wraparound services that Community of Hope provides to the entire family using that two-child model. Lyft DC is a chapter of Lyft a nonprofit organization on a mission to break the cycle of poverty by investing in parents. Two-gen approaches are the most effective way to impact a family's economic trajectory. 
We partner with parents to increase household stability. That stability interrupts the generational transmission of poverty and leads to better outcomes for children. Our approaches involve identifying the factors that undermine a family's overall well being, then working with the family to solve problems, access new resources, and sharpen existing skills. Specifically in DC, this past year, 95% of our members progressed in their finances. 90% of members progressed in their income or education, and 46% of our members progressed in their well-being. When I think about Colorado, Colorado, one of the most independent red, blue, purple states out there, urban, suburban, rural, Colorado has always had a desire and a thriving to think about front edge of early childhood and really think about young families, about the power of women, and also some of the coolest interventions through a two-generation approach. Here in Colorado, we're working to create an environment where everyone in our state can thrive, which is why two-gen policies are so important. A Colorado for all means that everyone from our youngest children to our oldest adults and have the resources they need to live full, meaningful lives. And that's why we focus so much on strengthening our early childhood system through free full day kindergarten and now this fall universal preschool. And investing in K-12 education to ensure our children have the best possible start in life is critical to our success as a state. That's why I focus so much on saving people money and lowering costs. We wanna make everything more affordable from healthcare to education to housing, to lowering property taxes, lowering the cost of state park passes, lower cost energy, and so much more. So Colorado remains the best place to live. We're also focused on increasing pathways to success for parents and caregivers, zero cost training with our community colleges and technical colleges from many fields, helping Coloradans get the skills they need to be firefighters and teachers and healthcare professionals and support their families. And we remain committed to making Colorado the absolute best place to age and retire. Our state should be a place where older adults are supported and valued for their contributions, their experience, and their abilities. All together, these efforts create a system that supports intergenerational prosperity, where people can be supported and successful through the entirety of their lives. We're incredibly proud of this work in a Colorado for all, and proud to have partners like Aspen Institute who are deeply committed to advancing this important work. We know that a two-generation approach creates systemic changes for the child and caregivers. For us, it's about sustainability and support for kids. If we look at the education system, it's the same thing. We know kids can't be successful in education if their home environment isn't solid. It's the same thing for behavioral health. At WellPower, this looks a couple of different ways. One example, um, if a child is in services with us, we also support the caregiver, whether that be parent, guardian, grandparent, or members of the extended family. We support them through access to community resources, helping them apply for a job or attain education. It's important for us to help get the basic needs of the home met. Another example would be the Stay Safe Partnership, which is our suicide prevention program for teens that incorporates a two-generation lens through psychoeducation for caregivers. This provides knowledge about various facets of mental health and treatment so that caregivers can work together with clinicians for a better overall outcome. We've gotten to see incredible results in this two-gen work. In our Learning with Love program, we work with groups and parents and their children that are zero to three. Our family educators also get to do one-on-one -on -one home visits where they focus primarily on the children's individual developmental needs. And then the group classes truly do build strong social bonds between parents who live in close by neighborhoods and are going through very similar experiences. And the individual work builds parent confidence and truly does promote positive parent-child interactions. Moms who have gotten the opportunity to go through our Learning with Love program with their toddlers have told us over and over again how they wish they had something like this for their older children because they see the difference that the new depth of understanding and learning has had on their child.